first on BBC Two, it's back for sport relief. Celebrity Pot Black. For the past few weeks, two big faces of the small screen have been in training for the greatest challenge of their careers. An extensive program of sitting down, bending over, and walking round a table. Now, the waiting is over, because tonight, partnered by two Green Bay's legends, they go head to head, ball to ball. 15 red, six colours, two teams, one winner. So cue the balls and the stars in that order, because this is Celebrity Pop Black for Sport Relief. <laughs> Amazing applause. Wonderful. Uh, welcome, everyone, to Celebrity Pop Black for Sport Relief. Yeah. Uh, in just a few minutes, we're meeting the players. But first, let me introduce my partner for the evening and the man who'll be assisting me with my first break or bridge into the world of snooker. <laughs> uh, former world champion, John Parrott. Start the evening off for you, Dermot. Little trick shot here. This is called the pink pearl. We've got the pink surrounded by six reds. We're going to hit the first one. They're going to move out like a bunch of flowers, and the pink should go across and go in the middle pocket. Shut up. Something like this. <laughs> Get there. <laughs> Happy with that. Happy with that. Uh, John's going to be helping all non-snooker experts like myself understand the rules. You've been world champion, John. What's the pressure going to be like to start with you? Enormous. These guys? Honestly, you can practice in the club all you like, but when you get out here, front of the people, front of the cameras, different game. OK, so how's it going to work tonight? Tell us. Well, it's one frame of snooker played on a full-size professional table. It's alternate shots with the celebrity and a professional. But the thing is, the difference in the scoring is, if a celebrity gets any points, he gets double for the balls. <laughs> OK, thank you, John. And making sure the boys abide by the rules is the first ever woman to officiate in the World Snooker Championships. Our referee tonight, Michaela Tab, everybody. <laughs> now, though, the time has come to introduce tonight's Pocketball Wizards, representing the red team from deepest, darkest Essex. Two times world champion Ronnie Rocket O'Sullivan and Coronation Street bad boy Bradley. Is that a rocket in his pocket? Walsh! <laughs> And now, in the white corner, six times world champion Steve. He is actually quite interesting, Davis. And six times sexier than any other man in Bolton, bar Sam Allardyce, Vernon Special K. <laughs> Firstly, oh, you are, you're sparring for a fight already, aren't you? No, 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 not at all. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, Derm. I'm just glad we're dressed like this and not like a couple <laughs> of... <laughs> not like a couple of tarts. Now, listen, have you been doing any training for this whatsoever? Of course I've been doing training. I've had three laps around this table already today. I can't wait. I'm, I'm, we, yeah, we've been... No, no, not at all. <laughs> Ben, <coughs> the suit is terrific. Thank you very much. Have you been practising? I have. Uh, I, my highest break so far has been uh, 126, so good luck, Bradley. OK, thanks Yeah, like. yeah, luck on bothered. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado, it's time to go, my friends. It's time to go snooker loopy. OK, uh, John and I are going to be talking through the match blow by blow. And as the celebrities get their final instructions from their professional partners, uh, don't forget to keep calling 08457 910 910 to donate. So, John, how are we going to decide who breaks? Well, usually you flip a coin, but what we're going to do is something called stringing, which billiard players will be familiar with. Two cue balls on the balk line. They're going to break off simultaneously. Uh -huh. The cue ball is going to go down, hit the top cushion, and the cue ball that finishes closest to the bottom cushion, where they're standing now, decides... How hard is that? It can be difficult. You need a good feel for it. OK. Thanks a lot, John. OK, the players are ready, so let's get back to the table. Over to Michaela. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> OK, Bradley and Ronnie, you've won.
one? Do you want to break or pass it to your opponents? What would you like? Right, you, Ron, you're listening. You're a professional. What do you want to do, mate? Let, let him break. Let him break. Okay, okay. we'll let the, uh, the come dancing team break. Right. <laughs> And first on the purple base is TV presenter Vernon, who'll be feeling the pressure as he breaks off. Nice. <laughs> We're in! <laughs> nice break, but nothing potted, so the two times former world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan has the chance to pot tonight's first red. Oh, what are you playing at? <laughs> <laughs> Can you sign this, please? <laughs> That's the first red potted, so Vernon's on a colour. And don't forget, all celebrity pots are worth double points. Oh, oh. unlucky, Vern. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That ball. Vernon and ah. Steve won. <laughs> Too much elevation. Well, I haven't hit it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit lower. A little bit lower. All right. All no, right. no, no. I mean, flat of the cube. Bit yeah. flat. Perfect. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> a phenomenal shot by Bradley Walsh, which gets his team off the mark with two points. <laughs> Is it me? Seven. Right, what do you want me to do? I would go for that one, but it's you... You, you, want it, you would go for that one? I would, but it's your shot, so... No, no, you know. I'll go, you say that one, I'll go for that one, don't worry. But, but I'd like to try and get the white back here, if you can. Try and get the white back here? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Well, put your hand the other side of it and knock it back. <laughs> <laughs> right, just, you know, fl float it in, float it in, a little bit of snap. And you'll be flying. Well, that ain't off-putting, that camera <laughs> There's Jack Shepard and Richard Fleishman, who are used to Bradley's antics on Coronation Street. <laughs> oh, Ron, sorry, son. No, don't not you. Bradley Six. and Ronnie, seven. Oh, yes, very much. Oh, yes, I'll tell you what, I did it for the I'm going to admit it too I did it too hard. Just I know I did. Unfortunately, Bradley's left Steve with a big chance here. <laughs> there's, no, there's no need to tell you what to do here because you're an expert and you'll know exactly what you're going to do. Just roll that one in and don't miss it and don't worry about the people, the millions watching at home. <laughs> <laughs> when you said that one, which one? Blue, it's worth <laughs> ten. <laughs> one ten, don't worry. Don't panic. Ten. And the pressure's on for Vernon. This blue will put them in the lead. Steve set Vernon up on another blue, which will put them even further ahead. Good shot, but where's that cue ball going? Oh, oh he's safe. Shot, Vernon. Thanks, Gallo. Well, we've got a massive chance here. This is a very slow one in the middle. Oh, what a shot! Oh, no one likes to see that! Stephen Vernon, <laughs> 22. Your ball dangling over your pocket. <laughs> now, what's Ronnie doing here? This looks interesting. Go. 
garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> All right, let's stop messing about now. Well, he's done well so far, Vernon, but that was a difficult shot. Let's try and sort this game out. See what's happening here. <laughs> safety. Good safety. <laughs> 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 oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> Ronnie's turn at the table, and they really need a little magic to start scoring some points here. on Bradley. Vernon's already potted two blues, of course. Oh, Ron, this is nerve-wracking, mate. Oh, like oh, oh you like clumsy fool. Ronnie and Bradley won. Deliberate safety shot again. Look at that one. You fancy that one? Yeah. It's just it's a tricky one, that's oh. all. It's a tricky one. Oh. And Vernon's looking to cut this one into the middle pocket. And the way he's been playing, anything is possible. Oh. Oh. Ron, we're in, son, we're in! <laughs> we are. See how tricky that was? Very tricky. Just tricky. Very we're tricky. In. Good shot by Ronnie, but has he left anything on for Bradley? Oh, oh uh, lucky. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Unlucky. That's, that's all right. Good effort. Oh, look what I've done. Bradley and Ronnie won. <laughs> good positional play. Yeah, it was good positional if I'd have got it in. Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> I've missed. <laughs> yeah, great position for them. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> in trouble. Right. With Vernon and Steve currently 23-9 in the lead, can Vernon sink his third blue of the game? Oh. Coming in, coming in! Oh. Vernon and Steve won. Oh, Ronnie would be desperate to score some points, but he's not getting left anything easy at the moment. <laughs> oh, unlucky run. Professional. <laughs> <laughs> he's not he's from Bolton, he's not from me. I'll give you a choice, Vern, you've got a choice of colours here. And this brown is worth eight points. Steve. Ron, shall I play a safety shot or shall I just yeah. smash him about? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is ambitious. But then again, if you don't have ambition, you'll never achieve anything. You're right. <laughs> Steve, which one? The red one that's over the hole, Vernon. <laughs> oh, you saw it then. Ah, yes. You drew everybody's attention to it. Bit of that famous screw back, Vern. Give it the big one. The big Jimmy Ronnie thingy. <laughs> oh, what a shot! Amazing stuff from Vernon with a healthy lead of 35 to 9. But remember, this could all change with double points for celebrities. Oh, he's tied it up. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Oh, two apologies. Stephen Vernon, two. Oh, he's trying to wobble it. Positional play from Ronnie there, leaving Bradley a 12-point pink. Oh, 
Oh, Brad, you're having a mare, son. What you do to me? Bradley and Ronnie won. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh. Nice shot went to his head, didn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did he? Maybe likes a smart half. He's though. gonna. Well, <coughs> and up steps the man who once scored a maximum break 147 in 5 minutes and 20 seconds. But they're just not falling for him today. Don't worry, Ron. It happens to the best of us, mate. <laughs> Oh, and Steve's potted the black by mistake. Did you do that deliberately just to give us half a chance? <laughs> no, I was trying to get the red off the cushion for positional play for Vernon later on in the game. And let's take another look at that foul shot. An uncharacteristic schoolboy error from Steve. Well, I must say, that's very, that's very generous of you, Steve, but nonetheless, very clumsy. <laughs> they that's have played in into my trap. <laughs> <laughs> Have a go. <laughs> Lean in and have a go. <laughs> Lean in and have a go. Ron, Steve, I'm doing this because now, it, now you know what it feels like to watch you boring. <laughs> This is gonna go in there. <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh, 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 well, Bradley's providing all the laughs, but it's Vernon who's providing the pots. A healthy lead of 35 to 17. Oh, quite. What a great shot. That, that was, was a great that shot. That was a great shot. Fantastic, mate. Brilliant. That's why I picked him as a partner and not you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who'd want a div like me? Oh. oh! Shouldn't have said that, should I? Well, well I think I made the wrong choice on that. <laughs> 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 oh, unlucky, Ron. Yeah. Well, another miss from Ronnie, and he's let Vernon in again. Yeah, sure. Well, not only does Steve have to pot a colour, but he's got to set Vernon up with one of the remaining reds. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Trouble is, these are only worth two. Seven. Screw back, the big screw back again. This looks tricky for Bradley. <laughs> oh! Unlucky. 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 You can do that, Vern. Have a go at that. No, 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 no. Yeah, go on, have you. might as well have a go no, now you're there. couldn't possibly. Yeah, you could. If it goes in, this would be magnificent. Go on, get in. Unlucky, mate. <laughs> no! Don't! <laughs> 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 That's what you get for being to cocky. And now, people sure has a ball goes in. Run it, if you please. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley plays a ball under the red like this, <laughs> and in she plops. <laughs> With Bradley and Ronnie 29 points behind, this 14 point black will really close the gap. Oh! <laughs> Ronnie and Bradley won. <laughs> 
this is a hard game. <laughs> We actually needed that desperately. I can't believe I missed that. <clears throat> oh. And Steve's left another opportunity for Ronnie and Bradley to get back into the game here. Oh. Ron, <laughs> you're a man. Well, Ronnie's first up to the table. The scores are 46 to Steve and Vernon, 23 to Bradley and Ronnie, with a possible 54 points still on the table. It's all to play for. Ronnie, baby. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now we're getting excited. Get behind that blue. <laughs> Unlucky with this, Fern. Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Bit of gamesmanship. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, hey. Ronnie and Bradley are 19 points behind. Can Ronnie put this difficult green to close the gap? Oh, leave it safe. Please leave it safe. Shot. Unlucky. Oi! Double bubble. Come on, Bradley! <coughs> I'm going to have to use this. Steve, man. watch and learn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Please. Oh, oh, oh. Ronnie and Bradley, six. Yeah. Oh. This is a very tough brown for Vernon. Yellow card. Yeah. Back there, Brad. Now, this is a difficult one. Bradley snookered, and Ronnie is trying to help him get the right angle off the cushion. A lot of you. Look and learn. Oh! oh! I couldn't hit it. It was behind the bleeding pin. <laughs> How many points you give away for that? Four. Oh, mate, I didn't mean to, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh. uh, bad luck, Steve. Just in case. <laughs> Ron, we're in. We're back, Ron. We're back with a vengeance. <laughs> Bradley knows that if he pots this blue, he'll only be five points behind. But he must be careful. Don't stun it, Bradley. You could leave Ronnie snookered. Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> Come on, Bradders. <laughs> Yes, he's got 10 points for the blue, but he has snookered Ronnie behind the black. 14. That's a Oh, lucky, Ron. Oh, All that for that. I've done that. Ronnie Bradley, 14. Stephen Vernon, 6. Oh, mate, it's a <laughs> nightmare for us. So this pink will put them 17 points in the lead. This is the bar. Don't listen to no pressure. Him. With only a potential 14 left on the table. <laughs> Ooh. Way, oh, 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 oh. And amazingly, if this pink goes in, Bradley and Ronnie will be in the lead. Oh. I've played it safe, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
interesting, Mr. Davis. Ooh. If Ronnie gets this pink, it will put them one point in the lead. by going and off, Ronnie has actually given away those crucial six points. If Vernon can pot this pink, it'll be game over. Are you going for it, Vernon? You know what, Bradley? I'm going to go for it. Go on, lad. I hope you get it in, mate. Go on. a way to finish a match. An absolutely stupendous shot. Congratulations, it gives me great pleasure. You are the first celebrity pop black champions. Well played, Yay! you two. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Please keep calling and donating money to Sport Relief. Switch over right now to BBC One to get loads more brilliant stuff, including the last ever episode of Footballers' Wives and this year's Celebrity Boxing. Thank you and good night. Take care.